look through the sky this week, you'll be able to see a pretty unique sight around sunset. That's something called a conjunction. Brian Will spoke to the Astronomical Society of Nevada and has the details on what you'll be able to see. Maybe from the strip, it might be hard to find. In the suburbs of Vegas, you'll be able to see those looking due west. The two brightest planets in our solar system, Jupiter and Venus, are coming together for the first time in several years. 2016 was the last time that this happened. So that's seven years ago. Uh, astronomically, that's just a blink of an eye. Jim. Maybe from the strip, it might be hard to find. In the suburbs of Vegas, you'll be able to see those looking due west. The two brightest planets in our solar system, Jupiter and Venus, are coming together for the first time in several years. 2016 was the last time that this happened. So that's seven years ago. Uh, astronomically, that's just a blink of an eye. 2016 was the last time that this happened. So that's seven years ago. Uh, astronomically, that's just a blink of an eye. 2016 was the last time that this happened. So that's seven years ago. Uh, astronomically, that's just a blink of Good an eye. Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a Trumpet for My People. Today is February 23rd, 2023. And as soon as I saw the information that I just shared in my last video, I wanted to look up the information about the last Venus-Jupiter conjunction, which happened seven years ago and was mentioned in that video. So I looked this up and it was August 27th, 2016. The sky's two brightest planets, Venus and Jupiter, Jupiter will stage the year's closest conjunction of two planets. Now, it's not going to be happening again until March 1st of 2023. And so I looked up the uh, day count of this, August 27th, 2016, uh, to March 1st, 2023. 2,377 days. And in the Strong's Concordance, 2377 means a doorkeeper. A doorkeeper. Now, this all talks about the coming of Christ. Let's look at uh, Mark 13.34. Mark 13.34. It is like a man going on a journey having left the house of him and having given the servants of him authority to each one the work of him and the doorkeeper commanded that he should keep watch. 2377, a doorkeeper and This is the day count from the last time this happened. A doorkeeper. In the Hebrew, 2377 means vision. Vision. Now, as we look at the idea of doorkeeper, let us consider March 1st that the ancient Babylonian calendar was lunisolar and around the year 2000 BC began observing a spring festival in the new year during the month of Nisan around the time of the March equinox. The early Roman calendar designated March 1st as the first day of the year. Is March 1st the real new year? The early Roman calendar designated March 1st as the new year. The calendar had just 10 months beginning with March. That the new year once began with the month of March is still reflected in some of the names of the months. In history, New Year celebrations were held on March 1st. The early Roman calendar designated March 1st as the new year. 
the doorkeeper. The Jupiter-Venus conjunction that has not happened for seven years, which in astronomical terms is just a blink of an eye.